good day guys welcome to exam owners youtube channel i will enjoy you all to subscribe to our youtube channel like our video and comment when necessary so we make videos on any educational aspect in nigeria and other west african countries so if you want to know how to navigate your casio white calculator very well i will enjoy you to watch this video to the end because exams like igmb naptep jupeb and neko require the use of casio white calculator but when you're talking about exams like waek you have specific calculator for the exam the examination body give them a specific calculator we call it capex calculator so if you want to know how to use your capex calculator as well you can check our youtube videos go to our youtube channel exam bonus youtube channel search for exam bonus on youtube then visit our channel and you will see the video on how to make how to save obj answers on capex calculator so we have made the video very easy for you to understand i will also show you how to edit the video in the comment section so let's get down straight to work so if you are interested in on how to use this Cashew white calculator is called popularly called Cashew white calculator in nigeria and you can also call it fx 991 es plus Cashew white calculator so i'll be showing you how to use this calculator to save obj answers so let's get down straight to work i've written down the buttons that are necessary for this um video so let's so we'll press on on let's clear anything that is saved on the calculator so assuming you have saved answer previously on the calculator i want to clear your answers you press shift you press nine you see this cl clr button at the top here it means clear so you press nine and then you pick all that's three all and you press equals to sign then press ac so now anything we have saved on this calculator has been deleted so even if you save your obj answers on this calculator you press off the answers will still be saved there it's until you come and press shift nine and then three for what all then press equals to and then a c so now let's go down straight to work on how to save your answers on this casio white calculator or casio fx 991 es calculator so to save your answer assuming you are writing exams like neko the obg answers are a to e so our a a stands for one b stands for two c stands for three sorry let me write the two properly your d stands for four your e stands for five but if you are writing exams like jupeb and some other exams where the options end in d we'll only be dealing with one two three four so now i want to save answers for number one to ten in the exam number one to ten this is the way we save it let's say the answers from number one to ten are b c d e a i'm using i'm adding e there so if you have option e there you add e there so b c c d a so we have 10 options here that is for number one to ten so how are we going to save this number one to ten on our calculator and it will be easy for us to remember and navigate so this is your calculator now and i told you that a stands for what one b stands for two so if b stands for two right two here three here d will be four e will be what five a will be one b will be two c will be three c will be three d will be four a will be one so now let's save this answers on the calculator on our calculator we we'll press the answers we want to save that is two three four five one two three three four one so now we have pressed the answers on the calculator so the next step will be to press shift you press your shift button you come down you press your arrow cl button and then you save it to this place they wrote a here this place they wrote a our a in the calculator means number one to ten so we press a so you see that the answers have been saved on the calculator so let me press on button i press on button press shift and i press off the calculator off the calculator so let's press the on button back again i press the on button again then i will press how can we get our answers back we'll press 
alpha a we are pressing our alpha a so that alpha a means what one to ten so we now press equal to sign you see that all the answers are out again after switching off the calculator we can still get our answers back so now let's do for 11 to 20 11 to 20 11 to 20 11 to 20 will be b c d a e a a a b c so i said b will stand for what two c will stand for what three d will stand for what four a will stand for one e will stand for five a will stand for one 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 two three so now how are we going to solve um save 11 to 20. i told you that this button here is for what 1 to 10. this button this b here is for what 21 11 to 20. here will be what 21 to 30. here will be what 31 to 40. here will be what 41 to 50. you know in some exams we have obj answers of 1 to 50. so we'll be reaching here if the examination say has answers of 1 to 50. so now the next one there is what 11 to 20. since it's 11 to 20 then we'll now press our own button we we'll press shift sorry we we'll press our own button then we type in the answers of 11 to 20 that will be what 2 3 4 1 5 1 1 1 2 3 so now these are our answers of 11 to 20 so to save this answer we we'll press shift we press arrow cl and i told you that this b button here is for what 11 to 20 this for what 1 to 10 we have saved answers here so we can't use this button again we use this what this b button here this button that they put full stop comma 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 that is alpha b so we we'll press on that button we we'll press the button after pressing shift and arrow cl after pressing shift arrow cl we we'll press on what b so you see that everything has been saved so the first step is that you type in your answers as numbers then you press shift button you press rcl button and then it's, you press the what the b button to save your answers in what 11 to 20. so these are my answers 11 to 20. the same way you repeat it for what 21 to 30 41 to 50 and then that's all if your obj answers are entering in 50. so let's do again for 21 to 30. so let's assume our 21 to 30 answers is a a a b b c c d a so how many is that one two three four five six seven eight nine so let's add one more so let's say the last answer is option e that is what five i told you a stands for what one b stands for what two c stands for what three d stands for what four and e stands for what five so now i want to save obg answers of 21 to 30. you know we have said for one to ten and I told you that when you switch off your calculator, you press on, you press shift and off, and then you on the calculator back, you will still get your answer. How are you going to get your answer? You press on what? Alpha A. This alpha, this button here, that is A. So once you press alpha A, sorry, let me do it clearly so you can see. When you press alpha A, sorry, alpha A, this alpha A means what? One, two. 10 so we press your equal to sign equal to and you get your answer that you are saved so if you switch off your calculator and i told you that if you want to clear it you press what shift and nine after pressing shift and nine you press equal to sign and then you press a c button this is your ac button this is your equal to sign you want to clear your answers shift nine i don't want to clear it yet that when at the end of the video i will clear all the answers so now we typed our answers the other time for 21 to 30. Let me come again. Let me type it now. 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 4, 5. Sorry. 4, 4, 1. Let's count everything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's complete 10. Our 2 there is what? Our 2 there is for what? B our three days for what c c a b d e d d a a stands for one b stands for two three stands for c so now to save this 20 question 21 to 30 on our calculator you press on what 
shift button i told you this a is for what 1 to 10 we have saved answers there this is for what 11 to 20 this is for what 21 to 30 plus. so i press alpha that is i'll press shift c sorry shift let me press the shift button again shift arrow cl this arrow cl here arrow cl after pressing arrow cl i'll now press my what my c button i i put a news button so everything is saved in option c so to save your answer you press shift arrow cl and the button you want to save the answers on so it will save immediately so we have saved our answers on button a button b this button a for 1 to 10 button b 21 to 30 button c 31 to 40 so now let's check all our answers to check our answer I'll press alpha a equal to sign sorry alpha a equal to sign so that is our answer there to check 11 to 20 alpha b equal to sign that is our answers of um 11 to 20 then 21 to 30 alpha alpha c this is alpha c here yeah? alpha c equal to so that is our answers so everything is saved on the calculator even if we off the calculator I'll switch off the calculator now and we own it back all we just need to we just press alpha a and we'll press equal to sign then everything will show so that means to now to clear the calculator you see shift then nine button then you pick three number three this number three button press number three then you press your what your equal to sign so you now press final thing you press is what your ac button so you see everything has been cleared now so if you on the button if you press alpha a is no longer there nothing will show there so it's gone so thanks for watching this video so that is how to save obj answers on your cash white calculator for students sitting for neko exam NAPTEB exam igmb and jupf so anytime we send you our assistance if we send you the answers before the exam this is the way you save your obj answers on the neko NAPTEB or igmb or jupf cash white calculator because this is the best calculator to take for your exam i will also make a video on how to use this calculator to solve quadratic equation simultaneous equation and statistics mean medium mode standard deviation variance uh, and mean deviation so i'll be making videos on each of these statistics questions and also how to use it to solve quadratic and simultaneous equation thank you for watching this video see you in my next video bye